Here's my 13,000 gallon tom that's 9 feet deep. Uh, it's April of 2019 and it's been green like this for about three weeks now. So coming out of winter, it's a little bit green and I am reviewing the Fariha 54 watt freestanding UV that doesn't need an insertion into the plumbing line. So here it is out of the box. Um, from end to end, it's uh, 26 and a half inches long. It's pretty big, pretty long too. Zoom out, there you go. So the filtration for this pond are uh, two Nexus 310 units. And I'm going to put the UV inside the four inch drain line that supplies one of the Nexus. After day one with the UV inside the drain line, I find that it's slowing the uh, water flow a fair amount. So I move the UV inside the settlement chamber of the Nexus. This is at day three. The water has cleared a fair amount and now I can see the koi at four feet deep. Here's day seven inside the settlement chamber and uh, the water has cleared um, pretty significantly and what you're seeing floating on the top are uh, the moth that's attracted to the light at night. Day seven view of inside the pond. After a week of usage of the 54 watt Pariha UV light and for a $110, it was a bargain. There's no way that I'm gonna go back to the aqua UV uh, light that's plumb inside the filtration line. It's so much easier using the um, Pariha freestanding UV light. So, bargain at 110.